So in the last video, we found the volume of this container by filling it with water and finding the volume of water uh, of that water inside it. Okay. So till now we've done two approaches of finding the volume of objects. The first is is by filling it up with uh, blocks uh, like these that are one that have a volume of one centimeter cube, and finding how many uh, such blocks are required to fill that object. So that approach, as you saw, was limited to only finding the volume of uh, regular objects like cuboids and or cuboids or cubes. Then we came up with, uh, with second approach of finding the volume of any object uh, by filling it up with water. So that could fi find the volume of any hollow object like this one. It could be regular or irregular. Okay. So for example, this is not in any regular shape. This is pretty irregular. But still, uh, we could fill it, fill it up with water and find the volume of that water, which would be equal to the vo volume of this container. Lastly, we have the problem where we have objects like marbles, which are neither hollow nor regular. So obviously, they, we cannot fit this up, fill this up with uh, cubes, uh, and neither can we cut this into cubes, okay? Because this is a sphere, okay? And neither can we fill it up with water to find the volume of that water. So we need to uh, follow some different approach, a third approach to find the volume of a uh, marble or for that matter any other solid object uh, be it regular or irregular but any other solid object okay so let's see how we do that before we find the volume of this let us uh, come to something completely different let's say uh, so here I hope you can see let's say I have these four cubes okay so I uh, imagine that is a that is some sort of there so they are confined to some sort of space let's say now if i wish to add a four a fifth cube to that space i cannot add it right directly there i mean in this exact space okay this square of two by two centimeters i cannot add this fifth uh, cube there so to add this fifth cube what i need to do is i will have to obviously remove one cube and add this okay so uh, so that I make space for this okay so the general thing is whenever so the same applies to you maybe your class also so if your class has a maximum capacity or maybe your bus has a maximum capacity of 40 students and let's say I wish to add uh, 10 more students so to add those 10 more students I need to remove first and some other 10 students so that I can make space for those new 10 students right so that is how uh, that is uh, pretty logical. Now let's extend that logic uh, to fluids. So here I have a plate and I'll take a, and a container uh, in that. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water and take this uh, katori and fill this up completely with water. Mm. Yeah, that's it so I have completely filled this up with uh, water and yeah if there's any space left I'll just pour in a few drops to ensure that this is completely filled up and yeah I believe at this moment yeah so I filled the um, container up to its brim and so now if I wish to add something to this container to this katori uh, okay because this is completely filled up with water I cannot add anything else so let's say I wish to add a marble to this katori or I wish to add um, I'll, so I have this hollow cube okay and I filled it up with water so I have so uh, as you saw in the previous videos I have in this one centimeter cube or one ml of water so I cannot add another one ml of water to this because this, this category is completely filled so to add one ml of water to this I will first have to remove one ml of water and to create space for this and only then can I add that one ml okay but if I add have to add this uh, marble inside this uh, uh, category of water I cannot do that directly 
बट आई नीड टू रिमूव दैट सेम वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर फ्रॉम दिस सो दैट आई मेक स्पेस फॉर दिस मार्बल इन दैट कटोरी सो या सो आई होप यू आर गेटिंग द सेंस ऑफ वेयर आई एम ट्राइंग टू लीड यू सो वेन आई पुट दिस इन सम वॉटर विल ओवरफ्लो ओके बिकॉज दे के नॉट दे इज एंट जस्ट इनफ स्पेस फॉर ऑल दिट वॉटर एंड दिस मार्बल टू स्टे इन साइड सो वेन आई पुट दिस मार्बल इन साइड सम वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर विल फ्लो आउट हाउ मच वॉल्यूम सो ऑब्वियसली दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर विल फ्लो आउट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक स्पेस फॉर दिस दिस मार्बल सो अ वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉटर दैट इज इक्वल टू दिस द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस मार्बल विल फ्लो आउट टू आउट ऑफ दिस कटोरी एंड दैट वॉल्यूम वॉटर विल बी कलेक्टेड बाई दिस प्लेट आउटसाइड एंड इफ वी कैन मेज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट वॉटर विल गेट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस मार्बल सो टू इंक्रीज एक्यूरेसी वॉट आई विल बी डूइंग इज सो obviously i'm not calculating the um, um, yeah i'll just calculate okay so i have 1 2 3 4 5 i have five marbles here so what i can do is uh, to increase the accuracy of this experiment i'll take five marbles put them in the water and then um, then the then i'll measure the amount of water that is that has overflowed the volume of water and divide that by 5 to get the volume of one of the marbles Because all the marbles are identical, so here I go. I carefully dip in the first marble. So you know, because of surface tension, obviously the water will resist overflowing. But obvious, but yeah, for that I'll put five mar five marbles, and it should overflow. So you see, it's just starting to overflow. Uh, the next marble. Uh, next model so i have got some water that has come out and very carefully what i can do is like what i can do now is i can remove the katori and i'll measure the volume of water that has been overflowed so i'll just do that okay so what i now do is i take the wing balance I switch it on. I take the empty category. So this is an empty category. Place it and press the tear button so that I neglect the mass of the category. And now I add the water that has that I have collected. And there I go. So that is around twenty nine grams. So if I divide twenty nine grams by five, uh, so twenty nine grams, which means the vo volume of water is twenty nine mL. Okay, because the volume of water in milliliters is equal to its mass in grams. That is something that we saw in the last video. So twenty nine milliliters. If I divide that by five, I get around six milliliters. So six milliliters, or uh, to be more precise, to set it in uh, stand um, in SI units, I can write uh, six centimeter cube of Uh, so six centimeter cube is the volume of this one marble, and that is true for all the marbles. So obviously, that this experiment has some errors because this has not been performed very accurately. But this has been performed to give you an idea of how we can measure the um, volume of objects that are hollow, that are not hollow, and are not regular. Yeah, so that's it for this video.